I think the news is super boring. So I don't know if you've noticed, but there's actually a lot going on in the world. And I want to be up to date. I really do. But sometimes it's just overwhelming. Boring. Austin High School. Wait room to be renovated. Woo! Or depressing. See, I had an idea. What if I could take these large language models, ChatGPT, Gemini, all of them, and actually make them funny? And if I can make it funny, can I get it to tell me the news in an entertaining way? Okay, I know making robots funny sounds difficult, and some might say it's even impossible, but I have spent thousands of dollars on my education to be an engineer, and so it's the least I could fucking do is laugh after all the money I've spent. So the first thing that needs to happen for this is we need to find what's called RSS feeds. So an RSS feed is really just a web feed that news sites publish their articles to. And what it allows for is for nerdy people like me, Josh, to set up a listener so that whenever an article is published to one of these, I get to see them all in one place. Okay, let's find us an RSS feed. Uh, sure. Oh! That was, wait, that was actually so easy. Okay, so it looks like it has a title. Looks like it has a link to the article, a description, when it was published, and an image. Honestly, I think that's all I need. Oh my god, I actually just noticed that Brain Rot has AI in it already. This is meant to be. So in the spirit of not trying to keep this video too boring, essentially what I did was I set up a few RSS feeds that were category dependent. So we have an RSS feed for sports, one for politics, one for entertainment, US, world, etc. And then we're defining personalities and now this is where the magic really happens. So the flow is we pull from our RSS feeds, we extract the content of the article, we send it all to ChatGPT and tell it that it's going to rewrite this news under these specific personalities, and then we're going to see the output. Generate five headlines that are brain rot and chaotic in the style of Gen Z internet culture. Use phrases like skibbity, gat, riz, phantom tax, delulu, sus, bus, and drip, sigma, mid, slay, yeet, etc. Well, I feel like a really important word is being forgotten. Oh. You mean... Diddy? Oh, you mean... Ohio? You mean... Sussy Baca? Oh, no. Sorry. I didn't mean that one. I'm a low type of fake. In the end, we ended up with five personalities. The first one was Gen Z Brain Rot. The second one was The Onion, because I love The Onion, would love to get that real time. The third one was a boomer. I tried using this emoji, but it looked weird on the site I was using. Uh, fourth is clickbait. Just make everything is even worse. Why not? And then the last one was explain like I'm five. Oh my god, the first article is about P. Diddy's trial. I'm always ready to freak off. Oh god. Am I am I doing something bad for the world? Oh my god, they explain like I'm five. Cassie and Diddy had a fight. <laughs> Lawyers are asking Cassie lots of questions about it. I mean, yeah, I get I guess that's what's happening. I guess five-year-olds would understand that. Okay, I now understand that reading it from the terminal, while it looks cool to me, is probably not the most engaging. And so don't mind my background. Just don't mind it. Start with clickbait. Tornadoes level four threat. Is this karma for Midwest emo music? Holy shit. People probably died in this. Oh my God. You won't believe what's happening in the Midwest. Oh my God, I have to remember that this is real. The timeline is terrifying. You won't believe who's still on the loose. Why do I like this one the best? Even though I feel like 
This is the part of the news that I hate the most. What's going on? The boomer is actually just not funny. Divers drip to fire. Shark skivity dop dop. Yes, yes, went full get on that camera. Absolute chaos play. Wait, I actually can't even decipher what's happening in here. Okay, T sis. So basically, Trumpy T. If you weren't born to legal parents, no birthright for you. Like, what is this? A phantom tax on being born? I can't even get through this. Okay, so I realized one thing was missing. It's the comments. The gold mine of toxicity, where scrolling becomes doom scrolling. And so, we kind of followed the same process. We added some more personalities, some Karens, some centrists, some boomers, and we made some comments. Oh, honey, comfort pandas, Wake up, sheeple. Walmart, Amazon, all seeing. Forward this to 10 people or else. Dude, I better forward this. What the hell? My favorite has been the explain like I'm five. I intended it to really simplify things, but it actually talks to you like you're a five-year-old and it's like your mother or something. Every single start to it is, okay, sweetie, listen close, listen closely. Red Sox guy catches ball. It almost fell, but he grabbed it. I don't know why I find these so funny. Oh my God. <laughs> they even took the Diddy thing from earlier and made it even simpler. Girl said bad things happen. Man's lawyer says she's wrong. Okay, sweetie, listen close. There's a girl, and she says a man did some bad things to her. Really bad things, like being mean and unfair. 